Hello and good afternoon. From a really picturesque rural location here in North County Cork. The sun is shining, the sky is blue, well, mostly blue. It's pretty cold, it's around 10, 11 degrees. Uh, was out very early this morning on foot, but I'm here now on another location or in another location. Here we got a meandering river peacefully passing beneath a historic stone bridge. Well, folks, as I say, it's 10 or 11 degrees right now. It's pretty chilly as opposed to the past few days, a few weeks, but certainly as opposed to my two weeks in Sicily, in the Mediterranean, where we had high 30s. Quite chilly here under the shade of these majestic beech and oak trees. Pedestrian rustic bridge here on my left hand side. And the river meandering along at a steady pace. Now, as usual, walking along here in the peace and the quiet, apart from the acoustics from a rapidly flowing river on its merry, merry journey to the sea. But the sun is creating all kinds of dancing shadows with a myriad of colors. And the predominant color at the moment, of course, is the green turning to gold because we're now in the season of autumn so expect those magical colors of autumn once again I refer to the great medication and therapy that is walking in wilderness. I'm sure you're probably bored stiff listening to me and praising the benefits of the great outdoors. But believe me folks, I don't think I don't think that I'll be able to overemphasize the joys the benefits and the effects of keeping moving and enjoying the great outdoors. I don't think I can ever get enough of this walking. Short walks, mediocre walks, long walks, and then the long distance treks into great wilderness.
and then we arrive here where another river converges with the main river and they both merely pass on their way to the ultimate destination that is the sea. Now folks, this is not going to be an epic production. It's going to be very short, very sweet and to the point. It's just a brief afternoon ramble in new territory. I had a great big walk this morning, 11 Ks. That's enough for today. But as I said to you on a reel last week, there are long walks due to be taken and called upon between now and Christmas, include, including an island, an offshore island. All in good time, Jim. So this is going to be a short episode here, very short. So I ain't going to bother you and bore you. Then, when you create a little bit of distance between yourself and the river, you come onto this really mature wood. Hard getting through here now. The colors of nature are awfully grand most of the year. But as autumn presents, they become more colorful and desirable. A gate that obviously served a purpose at one time. Now it's surplus to requirement. And here, as it disintegrates under the Irish weather, it serves no more purpose. A forest all to myself. I love these isolated places and places where there isn't a sign of human intervention. Just look around you. It's a sort of virgin forest. It's just the birds and myself, the trees and nature. It's so peaceful, it's so quiet, it's so therapeutic, it's so calming. As I've said to you before, not available to buy at the chemist in a bottle. You have to put your boots on and get stuck into the wilderness. I've always been a country boy, folks. Always. Sure, when I lived overseas. I resided in one of the most beautiful cities in the world. But many, many years later, the call of the country and its associated living beckoned. Now we're really isolated here. In fact, acutely isolated here. I don't know how long it's been since a fellow human being set foot in this area. You can see there, there's a ravine with a trickle of water passing through. There's a stillness here, which is really unique to a, a wooded area like this. The odd chirping of a bird overhead amongst the canopy. It 
It's a lovely place. A place that I set out at lunchtime to, to uh, locate. And I did, and here I am. Many people have said to me, and no doubt many people have been thinking, it's all grand and dandy visiting places like this. You're alone in a forest, you're a long way from a road and a house. But what about if something were to happen? What if something were to happen to moi? Fall down, twist an ankle, break a hip, fall in a hole, fall in the river. <laughs> all the nasty scenarios that perhaps might be lurking out there. I don't think about those and I certainly don't put them in the menu of adventure. The iPhone will pro probably live up to its reputation with its GPS qualities and eventually I'll be found, hopefully still in the land of the living, if something were to happen. But let's not talk about that, let's not think about that. Let's continue on our way. Now I have to get my head down under a branch here. Oh. Let's not think about something happening. Let's enjoy the walk. The quivering and motion on the beach leaves there in front of you probably signifies the fact that here under the canopy of this great forest, it's quite nippy. Looking at the iPhone, it's nine degrees. Yep, it is now nine degrees until I get myself back onto a sun-soaked piece of ground. Now, down here ahead of me in the gully, there are some obstructions. So I hope my body is pliable enough to be able to get myself beyond or underneath and beyond this. Ouch! And then I clonk my head on an overhead limb to add to the other bangs and bruises that I've had courtesy of my walking over the months. We have to be told by an official quilter sign that the ground underfoot is uneven as if I don't already realize and know that. The new health and safety regime in the Emerald Isle. We've been herded and corralled about like sheep. Don't do this and don't do that. It's too wet to go out, it's too warm to go out. Lock yourself away and stay within the confines of your home. My God, give me patience. Nobody at home today. stand here and look at the water crashing over minute rapids and the sound reverberating here in the solitude of the forest. It's so peaceful and so tranquil. It's a great form of medication. If one could sit still for a short while, I'm sure you'd have a good time of meditation. I can't sit still long enough to meditate. It's been tried, 
and test it and failed. I'm a mover and a shaker, but it's, it's a gorgeous morning, a gorgeous afternoon now. But it, this is a beautiful wood. And all to myself. The beach vegetation is beginning to turn from green to gold. We've just seen a fish taking a jump there to my left. There's something really beautiful and calming from listening to water as it churns across rapids. Another little people's house. You just need to put one foot in front of the other and let them carry you along at a nice leisurely pace. And up here ahead, I've come on my first seating down facility. So we, we climbed up from the valley floor where the river was meandering along and now we make our way back down rather acutely and I'm looking down on the river once again with its wooden rustic footbridge as you can see. I think it's super duper to go for an afternoon or a morning walk and not to encounter another human being along your way. I'm not a loner as I told you before. I'm not a loner, but I love having the place to myself and having no distraction, which is the way it has been this afternoon. Thank you for tagging along. Oh.